Hey guys, this is Mike again. Um, um, I went out to weed my garden today, and I had a homemade. I'm not sure the name, but I've been seeing a lot of videos about them on uh, YouTube. They're a double-sided hoe, inexpensive. You can buy them for right around fifteen dollars. And uh, anyhow, mine. It's about 15 years old and it finally gave out on me. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new one. Usually I make it out of a piece of uh, piano hinge. Sturdy. But I don't have a long enough one. Uh, so I'm going to make it out of a, I don't know, 16th of an inch piece of steel. I'll sharpen it when I'm done. Um, again, I don't have the tripod so I can't... Uh, set it up and show you step by step but uh when I'm done I'll show you uh you know I'll cut it and I'll show you the length and tell you the length and all that. Um I have to do some measurements and think about how big you have to cut it and bend it and then clamp it but I'll show you how easy it is using a piece of steel, an old an old handle. This is just something I had to tar my roof with I'll, and then a couple hose clamps will hold it in place. And uh, when I'm done, I'll show you the finished product. Okay, guys, <clears throat> I did some measuring. I didn't use a tape measure, I just kind of eyeballed it and got me an idea. So here's a mark right, right there. That'll be a bend mark, and then come all the way down to here. That'll be a bend mark, and all the way over to here will be another bend mark, and then another bend mark. And then right here is where I started to cut it. This would be the overall length. Um, you just need a couple inches here, about two and a half here, four or five here. Um, I went a little wide here than what I needed to. And I might make the difference up up here. I don't know. And then identical here. You'll see when I get it shaping like what I mean. I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting this off. And then I'll mark each one each one of these just with a real quick grind mark so I can actually see it. Um, from this mark here to this mark I'll have a kind of a sharp edge on both sides and you'll see why in a minute. Okay, I went ahead and cut it to length and I just put a grind mark across. I didn't, I didn't take out a lot, barely, just so I can get an idea where it's at. There and there. And there's the end. Now these, this mark and this mark, which is in the middle, the two middle ones, it will be bent and come up almost like a science beacon. And they're at the top. And then these two will bend to go straight up. So these will bend at a angle going in, and then this one will bend to go straight. Um, and like I said, I will show you that when I'm here in a minute. I'll pause this and get it done and come back. Okay, well, I haven't got my shed uh, unpacked or anything. So I'm moving back. It's still real cluttered. I'm not sure where my vice is either. So I'm just going to use a piece of wood, a seat clamp, hold it on a straight edge, and I'll bend it by hand and get it to bend. So I ground that down just a little bit more to give me a little easier to bend. And that's how I bend, make all my bends. And uh, again, I'll show it to you here in a second. There you go, guys. I ended up putting a pretty heavy piece of steel down. Just using a couple of different clamps. So this is a straight edge. This is where I have to have it going. Bending. I just bend it right on the little mark. See if I can do this one handed. And then I'll just kind of wanted to this going up and down and then the, the bend into that to make it go straight. Okay. I already bent these some I'm gonna have to bend them more. Cause these will have to, these will have to come in and touch the bar or the handle. So I'll bend them a little bit more. And I'll see if I can show you. And it's a little bumpy. But uh see if I can show you a little bit on here. I'm going to lay this down like that, put this clamp over top of it, clamp this 
Flip it down. If I can get it on there. Like I said, it's a little rough on one handed. And the mosquitoes start to come out. Okay. Now to take this, bend it a little bit more in. And it offsets it, makes this piece right bare, out of, long, out of shape again, so I have to rebend that. But it, you'll get the picture when I get done. Okay, that's close. Now I'm going to clamp them together, it'll be right about right. Okay, kind of looks like a science beacon, I guess. I went ahead and cut the threaded off this, and I really wished I had a wooden handled one, but uh, this is going to have to do. Like I said, it's cheap. It cost me nothing, really. But it'll, it'll lay in there, just like about like that. And I'll use those hose clamps right there. Clamp it on there real nice and snug. I may have to do a little grinding to this because it's a little thicker. And I don't think the uh, hose clamps are going to hold tight. So I may have to bring them down a little bit. And then I'll sharpen this edge and I'll sharpen this other edge real quick and I'll get back to you. Hey guys, there's kind of what it looks like. Not pretty, but it uh, does work. Of course, I don't have the end sharpened on it. Just because the mosquitoes are getting really bad right now. I'm just going to show you kind of what it does. This is all nothing there but weeds. Just with one, if it's cut or if it's sharp, it'll go right in that dirt. You see, it's really just plowing it right now. So I'm going to go over and put an edge on it. And then we'll see what it does. Okay, okay guys. Um, I don't know if you see it. But the shiny part is a sharp part. Not real sharp, but enough to dig in the dirt. Um, just want to see the weeds. Just go like that. The weeds are gone. They're still in the dirt, of course, but they die out. And if they're big ones, they wrap around. And you stick them out by hand, it's real easy. I'm going to shut this off and I'm going to redo the whole garden just real quick. And as you can see, the sun is down. So I'm going to hurry. And I'll show you, I'll tell you how long it takes me. Okay, literally, two minutes. I went through it real quick. Of course, I got a little carried away. I think I took some um, carrots away, but I'm hoping not. No, I didn't get that right there. Because that, that's in a row with my watermelons. I didn't want to mess with it. But I literally went through both beds. I didn't do the mounds, of course. Not yet, anyway. Not bad, but I just want to show you how quick and easy. So it literally took me two minutes, if that, to hoe it. I didn't do that because, well, there's definitely no need to. I went in and hoed up these two that didn't pop up. I left that one just in case. That one right there. Um, but literally, you can see, um, I literally chewed up the dirt in less than two minutes. And now I know I didn't. My garden's not that big, but it just just eats right through it. No, just as good, if not better, than the store bark ones. So, of course, I have to push down a little bit on this harder dirt, but uh, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. But I think I left this spot, but yeah. Oh, can you see all them weeds right there in front? Just kind of walk right by them. And that's it. The weeds are dead. And they don't come back like you think they would. So, oh, there it is. Hope I helped somebody.